too. Hmm? Kids. Yeah. Don't know where all this comes from. I think Emily must have got through at least half a dozen outfits a day during the holiday. Never mind, love. You can have a bit of a breather once they're back at school. <laughs> Roll on Monday. I've let Matthew talk me into taking him to some sort of open day at the fire station. Oh, do you know, I've always had a thing about fire bobbies. Lovely fit young fellas. <laughs> Why don't you come with us? You might find one you fancy. Oh, I don't think so, love. Ooh, I couldn't be doing with a younger fella. I have enough trouble with the older ones. <laughs> no, I'll just stay here and give this place a good doing. Make it nice for the weekend. Any coffee? Huh? Now, you get yourself settled on the couch, love, and I'll bring you on in. But Julia, I'm fine. You can't be too careful, you know, love. I had an auntie who lost a finger through knitting with a septic wicklow. I'm not about to lose anything, except perhaps my livelihood, if I don't get off to work. Oh, well, as long as you're sure, love. Honestly, I'm not quite sure. Well, don't go overdoing it, Max. Tonight's a very special occasion. Is it? Mmm. I've been waiting ages for it. Ah, oh, no. See, I don't think... It's only three days since my operation. Exactly. And I think it's about time I finally got to see your scar. that, love. You'll get yourself and the children ready for your day out. Oh, are you sure you won't change your mind and come with us? I'll stop here if you don't mind, love. I'm not much company at the moment. I don't suppose you've heard anything from the police yet? About that Jack Sullivan, you mean? Hmm. Well, I just thought they might have had some news for you. According to that police inspector, they are busy pursuing their inquiries at the moment. But if you ask me, it's a waste of time. He's long gone by now. And how would you feel if the police did catch up with him? I don't know, love. When he first went, oh, I thought my heart would break. All the plans we'd made for the future. But then I got angry, thinking what a fool he'd made of me, running off like that with all my money and my Arthur's pocket watch. You read about it in the papers, don't you, love? Widow lady duped by heartless con man. Because that's what Jack Sullivan is, you know, love. Artless and cruel. But now, I just think to myself, I'm better off without him. I think you're probably right, Julia. As far as I'm concerned, Jack's made his bed. And if he's happy lying on evil and deceit, well, he's welcome to it. I do like your new curtsy car, Mrs. Farnham. Very nice shape. Oh, thank you, Julia. <sighs> Look at that Jimmy Cork. He'll pass off another man's child as his own. Morning, love. Sure, Jackie, all right, is she? Why shouldn't she be? You tell her to take it steady. Can't be easy being pregnant at her time of life. I'll pass on your best wishes, shall I? You do that, love. <laughs> I wonder which of the fathers will be present at the birth. <sighs> Which one, indeed? Hey, careful, you. Save all that energy for the finals tomorrow. Are you coming to watch me play? Yeah, of course I am. Wouldn't miss it for the world. And I wish you were coming to the fire station with us. Yeah, so do I, darling, but poor Daddy's got to go to work. I've got something for you. It says you won't be sad or on your own. Oh, thank you, darling. But you can't open it yet. All right, well, uh, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll uh, save it for later. Surprises it, sweetheart. It's a treasure hunt. <laughs> oh, lovely, Em. Thank you. Come on, let Daddy get to work. You've got to be really clever to work it out. Well, I think I'll need some help. Now, you two be good for your mum, yeah? And I'll see you later.
Nice one, Matt. You do with a few more lads like you in the service. Yeah. You get to drive a fire engine at 100 miles an hour with a shine on, don't you? You certainly do, son. As well as risking your life and putting out fires, it's dangerous. Don't worry, Mrs. Farnham. There's loads of time for him to change his mind. They usually do. So you're going to be a fireman and all, Emily? No. Oh, thank goodness for that. I'm going to be a fire lady. Oh. <laughs> and who's your little friends for you? The other fireman gave them to me. Oh. I'm going to give them to Daddy. Dad will want a stupid girl, son. You will. Where is he, Mummy? As if. Well, I've got one. Keep him in the cab of the tender. See? Can I see him? Of course. You can even sit in your special seat. If that's all right with you. Oh, yes, yes. You come on, Matt. I have a little Sharon. Reckon I can arrange that, Feynman, Matt? Feynman's far and sharp, I think. <laughs> oh. The size of that tender, it's massive. I like that one best. It's cute. But that one the girls drive. I don't care, I like it best anyway. <laughs> Every engine has a job to do. They're all as important as each other. I'll stop bickering, you two. Oh, no. What does this do? Press it and see. As of the job, get used to it. <laughs> Rather you than me. Who's up big and chips early, don't you, Ben? I certainly do. Got to keep our strength up, you know. Can we have burgers and chips on our way home? Please, Mum. Well, all right, just this once. At least we won't have to sit and wait for that bell to go off while we eat them. Yeah, that's when it gets dead exciting. Yeah, and dangerous. But you've got to find the Sam to keep you safe, haven't you, Ben? <laughs> that's right, Emily. He's got a job to do just the same as the rest of us. You two, you'll be sick. No, Mummy, you'll be sick after that line. Oh, well. Come on, then. Hey, Chef. Hi, boy. You did not. I think too. Now, did stop not. it, you two. Just cut that out. Matt, you always think it's a bad I am. No, no, stop it. We've had a lovely day, so don't spoil it. Come on, now. <laughs> In the car.